Hey, pile number one. So today we're going to see chapter number eight of your future spouses series. This is season two, and we're going to see what do they like or love about you, okay? I'm gonna see first their energy, very short, your energy, very short, like what they want to highlight about you both, both of you. And then we're gonna dive into questions. And I got already some cards pulled to save you the boredom. And you guys chose this crystal, the Seraphonite. I don't know if you can see that. It's very pretty. I'm going to leave it over here. So, I only have two cards, one for each. This is for them. This is for you. They got the Eight of Cups. And you got the Fool. I like this. Pile of one. What they want to highlight about your future spouse. They left the baggage behind. They did their work though. They did, they did not just drop and forget. They worked through it. They worked through their everything. I want to say everything their fears, their worries, their problems. They work through, through the kind of life that they were having that was not suiting them. They left it behind in pursuit of their own fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, what makes them vibe, what makes them thrive. I feel that this person could even uh, have relocated, I'm feeling like, like a trip. Like they left where they used to live, they relocated. And it doesn't have to be that drastic either. They could have even moved just to a different house. But it, it feels kind of big and I want to get some of these to see a little bit more about them. Feels kind of big. Power. Yeah. It was big. It was a big change. It was a big change. It was a big drastic change and they dropped friendships that were they detected and were no longer friendships, people, places, habits. I'm going to get one more. Fire. Power and fire. Um... They came to a point like when the water boils is what I'm getting, like the water is boiling. Like you can't handle it anymore. It's like the whistle, the, the old kettles, like the whistle, you know, making that sound. They knew it was time. And they came to a point of saturation, like what am I doing? Questioning their whole life, questioning their, what a waste to stay here, stuck here. I, I can do so much more. I'm capable of so much more. And I'm also capable of detaching from this that no longer serves me, them. This person could be a fire sign. They could be a fire, fire with water. Let's see about you. We'll get to know them more with the questions that I have in regards to you, what they think about you, okay? So, uh, the Fool, you're represented by the Fool. Uh, otherworldly, otherworldly, yeah. Hmm. You 
don't shy away from a change. Like this would not scare you. This would not, you wouldn't shy away from, from a move like that big, big, a big move. It doesn't scare you at all. It doesn't phase you. And otherworldly, like, you like to discover. You like, you like new adventures. You like newness. You don't, you don't mind change. You, you embrace change. Change is welcome in my life. I'm happy with change as long as it's good for me. But stagnancy is, is a killer. The alchemist. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The alchemist is to be able to transmute the negative. Like this stagnancy, I need to change this. I need to make a change. You're all about change. Molding, adjusting, modifying, transmuting, changing. I see why you both would would get along so well. I feel that this person knew that they had this in them. It's not, it's, I feel that this is not their thing to move so drastically, but for you it's like almost a day-to-day -day thing. Like you do it constantly, even in the smallest things. Now, this for them was a huge move and gave them that confidence that they needed. And they're like, they're like off. They're like, they, they don't really have much of a plan apart from being happy, finding their own, own happiness. You, on the other hand, they're talking here about you. This is your lifestyle. This is your way of living. Not many people understand your 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 constant evolution. It's it's uh, it's it's not um, a typical thing. Everybody evolves, but yours is like you have an eye on you're scanning your life on a constant on a daily basis, I want to say. And you're always like, where can I improve? Where can I tweak? Where can I fix? Where can I? But it comes in, a, in an automatic way, not obsessive, comes automatically for you. And you notice when something is holding you back, you're like, okay, I am fixing this. I'm addressing this. I'm changing this. Okay, let's see. I want to see the first question. How do they perceive you? Okay, through their eyes, how do they perceive you? Oh, yes, Ace of Wands. Yes, yes. The Fool, the Ace of Wands, passionate. You always are like, you have that spark, that brilliant idea, that passion, that passion for something special. Let me get some tarot now. You feel passionate. You could also be a fire sign, but you feel uh, something beyond words drives you and takes you off. You got the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm, I like this. This is how they perceive you. You're passionate, but you make a plan. You're not stupid. You're not gonna just, I mean, they feel that you're not winging it, that you have a plan in place. Whether that is true or not. I feel like in a way you've gotten so used to change so used to how to handle these things that you already have kind of like, I want to say the recipe. 
of how to go about this. I'm going to get another one. Got death. Yes. What has to go, has to go. Transformation. It's a constant transformation, like upgrading yourself, upgrading yourself, upgrading yourself. Let me get some of these. This is great. You don't rush to the finish line. Wisdom. Yeah. You don't rush. You think things through. But your mind is so trained on how to do this that people would be kind of like overwhelmed. Like, oh my God, another one. Oh my God, I have to do this now. Oh my God. You're like... Da, da, da. like incredibly uh, quick there's a quickness to you even though this is a knight of pentacles which is the slowest suit of all the knights so your actions seem to be slow but they're not because they're very effective it feels like you quicken the pace of the king of the king of the Knight of Pentacles. You quicken their pace of an average Knight of Pentacles because of your wisdom. Yes, you ha you have life experience. Pile one, too many. You have life experience. Therefore, you feel comfortable in, you know, exploring new environments. Storm. Storm and death. You know that you cause a storm, I'm feeling. Like you're the storm. You're the one making this happen. The wind blow, the rain, the thunder, the lightning. You make it happen. You shake things up. They love that. This is the first thing that they perceive about you. You're like, doesn't matter the weather, I'll, I, I'm determined. A determination on your behalf is very noticeable. And, and this person perceives that. That's like the first thing. I feel it's like one of the first things that they perceive about you. It's very, calls their attention. I mean, calls everybody's attention, basically. The white wolf. <laughs> the white wolf. Confidence. Uh, you have more than enough. Guidance. Trust your inner knowing. You. This is you. So this person sees you clearly. I mean, it's impossible not to see you. Pile one. Because you are so... What's the word? You're not trying to call the attention of anybody, but your actions by themselves call the attention of people. Freedom, instinctual, believe in your power, and they have power. That's, that's the connection there. They feel interpreted by you. They feel, they, they feel that they they, uh, you reflect back to them what they know that they have within them too. And they're setting that power out to the world. They're, they're igniting it. They're letting it show. They're letting it loose. This cat, jaguar, I don't know what it is, panther, whatever. They're like, okay, I will unleash you. Go. Do. Be. The confidence, the guidance. The confidence, the wisdom, the storm. Like, you're the storm. And it doesn't matter the obstacles. I will get through it. The confidence is, is, is palpable here. 
Okay, what do they find amazing about you? Okay, well, I find that pretty amazing, but let's see. We got dances on one foot, balancing act with number nine. Dances on one foot, balancing act. Number nine. What is that? It's like a... It's like a moth. It's weird. It's like a moth and a plant. I don't know. We got the star. I love it. You make it, you know what? You make it look so easy. You, you, you make this look easy. That's what it is. And you, and you do it so, you're like a star. You, you nail it. And people that observe you are in awe. People that hear from you are in awe. They put themselves in your shoes and they're like, I don't know if I if I could pull that off. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. This is what they find amazing about you. You nail it. Ten of Pentacles. You make it look so easy. You're leaving a mark. You're leaving a mark in the world. That what doesn't work, it's up to you whether to fix it or not. You have to be the change. You have to be the change with that star, the healing. You have to be the change. The star comes after the, the tower. Like, you don't get phased by a tower. You don't get phased by a storm. You move through the, through the debris as it's falling, you move through it, balancing yourself perfectly well, not losing your balance, not losing your mind, not going nuts. You know yourself so well, pile one. You know yourself so well. The moon, the star and the moon, the moon, your intuition guides you. You trust your, your inner guidance. You trust your intuition. You trust your gut. You trust in your, in your qualities, in your, in your toolbox, in your capacity. In your skills, you trust in your skills that does it matter if I cannot see the complete picture? I know that I will be fine. I, I will I will not lose my foot. Resilient as well, dances on one foot, very resilient. Like you will have patience when you need to have patience, when you know, okay, I need to stand still here because any move right now, it's like a chess move, like any move right now would not work for me. So you'll have the patience there, but then as soon as you see that, that path, you go and you take it. Yeah, this is amazing. You leave a mark. The magician. The tools. Like you, I was saying about the tools that you use the tools at your disposal. Your toolbox is huge, pile one. You make you you're leaving you're leaving a mark. On your, 
your skills, your abilities, your skills and your abilities will leave a mark for generations after you, like your kids, your grandkids, so on and so forth. Maybe even in the public eye, like, I don't know, even your work. You're so skillful. Maybe you even have a job that, like, I don't know, maybe you're an entrepreneur, you have your own business, you run your own thing. You're so effective, so productive, so... You can juggle so many things at once and not get burnt because you're wise and you know when to pause as well. You're not a machine, obviously. You got the fishing pole. It says self-reliance. Yes. Uh, extend oneself. Autonomy. Yeah. You know you can do every single job at your and for example, if you had your own business and you have different areas, okay, this person takes care of this, this person takes care of this, so on and so forth. You could do it all. But you're not stupid. You hire people, you delegate, delegate, delegate. So you're more productive. But you could perfectly do this on your own. Connect, providing. Accomplishment, reflection, self-improvement. And you teach those around you how to fish. You don't give them fish. You teach them how to fish. Who are you, pile one? Let me know in the comments. I, wow. Okay, what's the next question? Uh, what you surprise them with? Growth energy. Growth of energy. Growth of energy. You surprise them. I'm hearing you don't get tired. <laughs> don't get tired. Uh, the devil. The devil. Interesting. And the five of wands. Growth of energy. Okay, first of all, you like a, you like a good challenge. You're competitive, Pile One. You are competitive. Not that you're looking for a com uh, to to you know. Like you don't dare people. Oh, I dare you. I don't I don't feel that in your nature. But if someone dares you, you would. But there's a there's a sense of competition of wanting to to be the best at what you do and to learn more and to improve more. Growth of energy. And this is something that surprises them. Hmm. You got the devil. I'm feeling like a little bit like a Like not get like not getting tired. I'm, okay, what is this? Pride. Pride. Growth of energy. I want to know about this growth of energy itself. Protection. Okay. You take a lot of pride in what you do. Your accomplishments are your medals. Like you wear them with like a badge of honor. You wear them very proudly. 
You challenge yourself. You protect your knowledge. You protect what you know. You protect your steps. You don't... Yeah. You do not let people know, just random people know, what you're up to. You're very, you don't let them see you coming. We got searching. Searching and the five of, of wands. Yeah. You're always searching to challenge yourself. And people are also searching for what is the next, your next move. You like your privacy. Power one. And this surprises them that you like the private, because you, yeah. You're very proud of what you do. You wear it as a, as a badge of honor, but you don't rub it in people's faces unless they, they confront you. You don't go to a party flashing all those badges. You're like very one more in the group, having fun. And you meet new people and you're, you know, you get in the conversation, you talk, but you don't start, oh, because I do this and this, and you start <laughs> giving out, you know, cards and no, no. People need to start digging and you are very selective with whom you give that information to and how much. Two and how much? Let's see about this devil. High priestess, you keep secrets. You keep secrets. You don't show your 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 hand. Um, and it. It, co it could have come across as prideful, like when people get, get to know a little bit, they start questioning more and more and more, and you just kind of, like you clam up a little bit. So that could have come across as, oh, this person thinks that they're the shit. Kind of like that. But there's a reason. There's a reason. You, you don't feel obligated. Like you forged your own way. You don't feel obligated to give the full recipe to just anybody. You don't. So you protect your energy. Look at this, the stars, stars. Ah, wish come true, peace, miracle, dream, falling in love. When you surprise, they love this about you. The, the, how humble you are, yet they get to see more of you and they find you to be incredible that most people would be bragging about it, but you don't. Blessed, nighttime, inspired. You inspire them. You inspire basically anybody that you tell, like that someone that is interested in what you're doing and you open up a little bit or people that see what you do, what you accomplish, you inspire people, of course you do. But you're not naive, you're not gullible. You won't just open up to anybody. You scan people well. Wisdom, high priestess is wise and intuitive, I mean, please. Your intuition, I was talking to you about your intuition. You allow your intuition to guide you. 
growth of energy. Yeah, you, you don't let people drain you as well. Like you know, I don't know. You found a sweet spot between working with others and still keeping yourself whole without depleting yourself. Because you have so many skills and abilities with this magician, you have so many tools that you could do all, all the jobs, all, all the positions, but you restrain yourself because you know that that will just deplete you. And you don't want that because you want to be creative, you want to be innovative, you want to continue with that energy that allows you to be that fool, you know, to take that leap of faith. You're working behind the scenes constantly with this alchemist, like, okay, this didn't work, tweak, fix, it's like Tinkerbell. <laughs> You're like, Tink doesn't matter, male or female, but like Tinkerbell, like, inventive, creative, spark of energy, like, like the, the Ace of Wands, like, shiny, like, a balancing act, like, you know how to move through tight spaces, feeling tight situations, windows of opportunity that are hardly open, you take the opportunity and you go through it. Okay. The final question, what tells them that you are the one? Oh, wisdom again. Wisdom. You got wisdom here and here. Of course. You're so well... How's that word? You're, you're like this whole package well balanced. You're a balanced package. otherworldly you're like from out of this world rare rare person the eight of the eight yes eight of pentacles yeah you master like you focus on one thing and you master it you work on it you work on it tweak on it finally it comes natural to you second nature and for others they're still struggling no you that's why you can you can walk through a storm you can go through a storm the falling debris of a, of, of a tower uh, the moon you can't see much but you know your skills your set of skills you know yourself so well in and out your limitations your strengths And what is this? The Seven of Wands. Yes, you protect your your achievements. You you protect you protect yourself also from criticism that is not constructive. Because you don't need the outside input really. Like you get it yourself. Like you're. You're really in an alignment with your higher self, power one, and you get that constructive criticism from within. Like you know when you failed and where you failed and how to fix it and you know. So you don't allow external factors, external comments, ex external external to deter you from a mission. That's wisdom. Because you can know a lot of stuff, but only experience provides you of wisdom if you've gathered the lessons from those experiences is when you gather, when you, when you get that wisdom. God... What is the bastion? Yeah. When you work, 
you're so immersed and you're so focused. It's like you have this fortress around you. You know what? You love what you do. You love what you do. You do it with a passion. You know those moments that you're doing something that you love, 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 and someone can be right next to you talking to you and you, you don't hear them. You don't hear them. At the most you hear like, oh, something like that. But you don't hear them. You're so, you're channeling. Like you, what you do, you, you receive downloads. Uh, what I'm telling you, you're very, very in alignment with your higher self. So, of course, you, you achieve the best of the best with what you're doing. And you master things. And you, you, you strive for more and you push yourself for more. And you, the alchemist, like your cards pile one down. No wonder this person is like, wow. They know you're the one because this person wanted a new, fresh start. They knew that where they were or the people that they were with or what they were doing was not in alignment with them. And they went with that fire, that passion, and that I have the power to decide. It's within me. Not with those who surround me. I'm the one. This is my life. You really do inspire this person. You understand totally where they come from. And you admire their work, work ethics. Work ethics. They admire your work ethics. You got remembrance. Remembrance. Remembrance and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you, you, you were not born like this, obviously. Uh, life taught you. Life taught you. Hence the wisdom. A lot of experience. A lot of uh, faults. Fault. False starts. A lot of mistakes along the way. Trusting those who you shouldn't have trusted. That kind of stuff. So, remembering that. And it's not the world is out to get me. No, it's I need to rely on the one person that I know will not betray me. Which is me. Me. You're very, as I was saying here, uh, autonomy with this fishing pole. And that white wolf. Throw me in a storm, I'll survive. I like to have my pack. I would like to have a pack. But if I need to fend for myself, I will. And I'll be fine. You're not needy, pile one. And this is something that this person loves about you. The fact that you're so well-rounded. You're whole, you're well-rounded. Like you don't need others. You choose to be with whoever, but you don't need them. As I always say, that's a huge difference right there. And you can smell that off of you from miles away. You don't need anybody. You're with those you choose to be with. Scuba diver. And it says, going within, observation, zero point, self-examination. You do this all the time with that alchemist. Exploring the unconscious mind in the void, desire to know. Yes, a need, Tinkerbell, a need to know, a need to try, a need to tinker this, tinker that. Self-reflection. Disconnecting, deep thoughts and subliminal. You are deep with this wisdom. Like you dive, you don't you you don't dive, just you know in the shallow part of the pool. The shallow part of the, of the ocean. You dive deep, deep. 
That's where you get all those treasures, diving deep. You know yourself, you know every inch, every crevice, every corner. Wow, you're an inspiration. I mean, whoever sees you in action is inspired by you, for real. Let's get some final messages for you. And I got these two decks. I don't know if they're gonna work well together, but I'm gonna use this, clarify that with that little one. Let's see, okay, this one it says, just a girl. Just a girl who loves vinyl and dogs. March. You're loyal. You love music. Something about March. We'll get a clarify with that. And just a girl. You see, you're not flashy. You're not like, oh, look at me. Oh, you know, camera this way. Spotlight this way. No. Nice, but not in this lifetime. <laughs> nice, but not in this lifetime. And this one, it says, you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have, answer is yes. You see, you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. Something pushed you, pile one, to become this amazing. Something in life pushed you. It can be anything. There are many of you, but you would know what that is. But something pushed you to become this amazing. This, uh, what is the fucking word? <laughs> Rigorous? Mm, no, it doesn't cut it. But it's like, you have a structure, you have a method, you have an ingredient, you have a recipe that works down to the T for you. Because you know yourself so well, you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses, so you know how to navigate through life with that set of freaking tools that you got. Okay, let's see. Just a girl who loves vinyl, too many. Just a girl uh, who loves vinyl and dogs, March. This up, yes, it's upside down. We got, uh, what the hell did it, lizard, renewal, renewal. You're always renewing yourself, but you keep yourself, you're always improving yourself, but you keep yourself like on the, on the low, like you don't, I swear, you're so humble. But, it, but you know your worth. Oh, you so know your worth. <laughs> you so know your worth. You're always improving and renewing yourself. And you like... You really do enjoy the simple things in life. Because you go to the extremes of the complicated, of the, of the out there, of the, of the otherworldly kind of stuff. That you, for you... A moment of relax would be to go back to ground zero, like just listening to music and being with your dog kind of thing. You appreciate that so much. That kind of charges you, your batteries, because it's a no-brainer, and it just feels the environment is perfect. Th th therefore, you protect your energy, the growth of energy. You you don't allow people to get in on every single detail of you or of yours. It drains you. Yeah. 
Nice, but not in this lifetime. Why the hell is this? Okay, here. We got lying with temperament. Yes, you do have a temper. And it's good. You know when to use it. You know when to stop people in their in their tracks and say, no, no, I'm not taking advantage of. You think I was born yesterday? <laughs> I am not doing this. Um, I don't, I didn't ask for your permission. I didn't ask for your advice. Like you, you, if you're, put against the wall and you need to answer something that's not going to come out very very nice you'll just you'll say it you won't openly you know give your opinion if you if you have nothing nice to say you usually zip it but if they put you in a tight spot yeah they're going to see your temper And, and it's not like a temper like you're going to be screaming or anything. It's just you're going to speak your mind with no filter. You exposed yourself to this. Now deal with, with what I have to say. Um, you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. The answer is yes. You got, what the hell does it say? It says, blessings with the grape. Blessings. All your hard work, all your effort, all your, this alchemy, this, this taking risks, this, this seeing how far you can get with a, simple spark this improving yourself constantly something drove you to to a point of I need to fend for me fend for myself I cannot rely on others to protect me or in, and fend for me I have to do it myself and the reward has been so good because you know that all of that reward is all you it's all you even though you're generous you're a generous person like if you were to work with others like you have your own business and you delegate here here like everybody is going to reap the rewards of of, of a good of a job well done but you will be fair with 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 the praise for whoever deserves it if you know that this person did not do as well as this other person both will know when the time comes you're lacking here you're doing amazing here you're honest but in a constructive way which you don't get much from the outside in that that's why you keep up this seven of wands but I feel that this person I want to know what connects you to what's the the link the, the, the special link between you two the Queen of Swords, honesty. Queen of Swords, honesty. And complete honesty. The Queen of Swords is no bullshit. Say it as it is. That the the truth, the honesty, and and the 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 brain here, the <laughs> yeah, someone wise. That's all I have for you, pile number one. Take care, I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, pile number two. So today we're going to see chapter number eight of season two of your Future Spouses series. And today is all about what 
they like or love about you. Okay, uh, this was requested, so here I am. Um, already pulled some cards, and first I want to see their energy, your energy, very briefly, just one card for each, and we'll go from we'll go from there. So you guys chose this. I'm going to try to pronounce this. Do more to your right. It's very pretty. I'll leave it over here. And I got just one card for each. Two different tarot decks. This is for them. Let's see what energy they want to highlight about your this future spouse of yours. The Knight of Cups. And you, the Queen of Swords. My Queens of Swords. I love the Queen of Swords. Knight of Cups. I need more. I feel that this person is a romantic. Is a romantic. But not the evident romantic. Not. Yes. They like tradition. Like if, if they were the male, like they would open doors. If they were the female, they would like a door open for them. They like uh, that, like they watch old movies and they like, they, they, they like that. They miss that. They wish that was the kind of dynamic that we would live nowadays. I don't know why I'm getting that. Okay, this one fell. It says, messenger. and protection okay. yes um, this person will yeah they they they're romantic but they won't spill their guts they This messenger gives me the vibe of signs. There's signs. They say stuff. Yes, they do. They they do express themselves verbally. Yes, they do. But it's more in like you ha you would have to kind of put the pieces together or read between the lines. They're not they're not obvious. They're smart with their moves. They protect their heart, but when they want to get the message across, they get the message across. They're more, they're more in the, the action-oriented gestures. Gestures is what I'm feeling, gestures. You, Queen of Swords, what can I say? You're smart beyond your years. You, you see things coming. You're very objective when you look at a, a relationship, like your, your own relationship with someone, like a connection with someone. You're capable of seeing your, your like you, you leave your body there with this other person and you can see the dynamic from afar without being emotionally involved that helps you that gives you a an advantage the secret you both are secretive oh my god you both are secretive. Do not let me see. Like, they won't see me coming. They won't see me coming. I will not open up like a book. 
Let's test these waters. Let's test. Let's, let's, let's test. And the sage. Any misunderstanding, you will clear it out right away. You'll want to get to the bottom of it, right, like address it right away. Not allow it to grow into this big unknown, like what the hell, where am I? You know, no, you don't like that. Something that smells off to you or anything that feels off to you, you'll address it. feel that you like this person right away because this person is not obvious but they are this tradition of theirs I feel that this person is likes the tradition of for example courting somebody the with class I feel it's like with class not the obvious like in your face kind of thing. No. You like a good mystery to solve. You'd rather solve this mystery than for them to lay it out all in front of you. Like, like no. What's the fun? Okay, let's, let's go with the questions. I have one card for each question. First question. How do they perceive you? The Ten of Wands. We're going to get tarot now. I perceive you as the Ten of Wands. Look at that. I'm getting... You don't complain. You don't complain. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Not only... You, like, you're... This is what... Your spirit guides wanted to highlight you with with the Queen of Swords, but they perceive you as the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Wands. I'm also getting like, oh my God, there's a lot to. I have to be aware of so many other things too. Like I can't slip. Cause this this because they're interested obviously in you. They don't want to mess things up. But you make them very very self aware. <laughs> like your X ray vision is is crazy, pile two. They see also that they perceive you as someone that doesn't complain. You have a shitload of responsibilities, but you don't complain. You get the job done. And the fool, look at that. I'm going to get some of these two. And you take on more and more and more. And they're like, when will this person burst? Very responsible, the elder. Yeah, the elder, like, like you're responsible for. I don't know if you you have family that depends on you, a job that depends on you. I don't know if you're the owner of a business. But also, yeah, it's my responsibility. It's like. My responsibility and the visionary and the fool. Oh my God. You, they see, they perceive in you that you have a clear map ahead, ahead of you. And it's all, it's all traced. It's all panned out. It's all, you have a plan. You have a plan. Even though you're, you're like multitasking, you're incredibly good at it. They perceive that you could do without some stuff, 
uh, but you, you can handle it. They, they see how well you can handle it. They feel like they would like you to, to be able to drop some of those wands. So delegate, a delegate, delegate a little bit more. I don't know how to pronounce that. Delegate a little bit more, but you're like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I got this. I got this. Oh my God, the bedroom. <laughs> Sexual fulfillment, intimacy, sensual pleasure, love affair, sleep, contentment, leisure, nap, sleep on it, alone time, oasis, retiring, dream, time, astral travel, call it a day. Okay, two things. Number one, they perceive you as to be amazing in bed. Amazing, amazing in bed. They picture you, both of you, they're like this, this, like, oh my God, where do I start? And another thing, they feel that you need more rest. They perceive you as, not that you're like, oh my God, the, the, the dark uh, circles under your eyes and stuff, no. But they know, I feel that they're plan they are planning on wanting to surprise you or give you that moment of let's go on vacation and just chill. They want to be that getaway person for you. They perceive you as someone that is open to new possibilities, new new adventures but you have a you have an idea of how you want your life to be like you can see yourself down the line like in my 90s I want to be doing this and living here and having having achieved this this and that that that's like you have yeah but you're still open to surprises from life. You're not so rigid, which is nice for them. They know that they could entice you, uh, entertain you with the idea of getting you away from this, this responsibility that you carry with you. Let's see. Uh, what do they find amazing about you? Fortune's wheel. Luck and right timing. With a number 23. Change. Number 5. Things are changing. What do they find amazing about you? Luck and right timing. The Eight of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. Either you left someone just in time, like someone. I feel it's like someone, like you were... Um, I don't know, you had a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, I don't know, partner, whatever. You left someone just in time for them to find you. Or they left someone just in time without knowing you. Like, they were not the catapult for you to leave whoever or the other way around either. Like the universe is, <laughs> is conspiring and it's helping us for this to happen. Because you skip the nine of cups. You go from the eight to the, to the ten. Falling.
and the sleepwalker. I need another one with a sleepwalker. Got peace. Mm. Um, I feel that what they find amazing about you is the fact that they found you. They found you. I feel that they're talking about them. I feel that we're, here we're talking about them, that they were in a situation that they were like losing their foot. Things were, they were in the wrong place. They were in the wrong place at the wrong time or they, they were with the wrong people or the wrong person in the wrong situation. And they said, screw it, I'm leaving without really knowing where where they would land basically and we got this image here of falling and like there's a a figure up there falling and this other figure down here with it, their arms stretched ready to I feel that's the universe grabbing them like saying don't worry we got you so that this wheel of fortune basically turned in their favor to find you The Ten of Cups is, is, I can, I can have it all with this person. They find amazing to find a person so complete, like you. And they were like numb through life. And now a sense, and also very uh, stressed like not sleeping well, the sleepwalking, not very well rested, not sleeping well, not really knowing what, if, if they will ever find a, the right person, the right person, because I feel that this person had many options, but not the right one. And you, just by meeting you, the, the, the sense of, okay, peace, I can breathe now. No more stress, no more anxiety. This, I know how how to I know how to work with this energy. I understand they understand your energy. They understand understand your energy. They like your energy. I feel that we're, they're talking about them. Now, roles could be reversed. It could be you could be you and that they find amazing the fact that by the time that you both meet you already had left whoever had uh, disconnected basically from that and fell into opportunity an opportunity to meet this person Serendipity is what I'm hearing. Serendipity. Uh, tracks. And it says, steady forward, sorry, steady forward movement, one way, go the distance, direct route, autopilot. Yeah, auto, let's put autopilot because I really don't know. I'll just let myself fall here. Go with it where, you know, where I feel magnetically pulled and see what happens traveling uh, I think I can on track focal point yeah like all roads lead to all roads lead to Rome at some point I'll I'll find you know where to land but for now I'm kind of like It was divine timing for you two to meet. It was the right time. So it feels like, like serendipity, like one coincidence, one coincidence after another, after another, after another. So it's like, oh my God, 
and it's growing and it's growing. I want to get one for the Ten of Cups here. Going from the Five of, of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold to the Ten of Cups. Yeah, like, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. I might be alone forever, who knows. But it is what it is, and I'd rather be lost than in bad company, kind of thing. And then you show up. Uh, what you surprise them with. Eternal charisma. Pile two, you're charismatic. Eternally charismatic. And what area? I mean, it feels in general like you're multifaceted. I feel two queens, the wands and the swords. Uh, welcome home with the four of wands. This is what you surprise them with. Oh, okay. You could show as, and this is the Three of Pentacles. You could show as like, I don't need anybody. I can do this on my own. Very independent, very professional, very with a schedule, very, I'm getting Virgo. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm getting Virgo kind of energy. But all in all, it's very uh, autosufficient. But you have another side that they're surprised that you're a great host. You're very welcoming, very warming, and you work, work great with others. You make it happen. You make it comfortable. You don't make it awkward. You don't... Even though you're like the sage, the secret, the queen of swords, like very rational, very intellectual, very hard to predict and very sexy as well, but reserved, like I got a mission, I have to do this, my responsibility, this, this and that, I got a vision. The structure, you, you break their... They're predetermined kind of with all of this energy. Like this comes as a shock to them. Like, oh my God, where did, where did this person come from? They love it. They love it because they're, you know, you're showing your, your more of your soft side here, more of your like, Your heart, I want to say. Bliss. You're so happy. You know what? You're very happy when you are with loved ones. And it shows. And you can't hide that shit. When you're with loved ones, you're like glowing. With kids, I feel. You're really good with kids. You're really good with kids. Pal too. You're, yeah, you, you feel, this is what's life, all, what, what life is all about. That's what I heard. This window, window. There's only, um, only a certain amount of times in your life that you have this is your thought your train of thought and what they find amazing that there are only certain moments that you do have to treasure and like make a photographic memory of the, the whole situation because they never will repeat at least not the same way so you treasure those moments those intimate moments
You treasure the good things in life. You know what? You like tradition as well, like them. You like tradition. The family meal, all sit, sit at a big table, all together. Celebrating birthdays with a cake full of candles. Making wishes. Three of Pentacles, you work well with others. You see in others, well, you're the Queen of Swords, their potential, if they're a good, a good fit or not. You're also good at knowing who to mix with whom. Like you wouldn't do a gathering and just, oh, you know, whatever, here, here. Like, no, you're like, hmm. No, we're going to do this time around. We're going to do this, 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 and that. But when it comes to family, family, you'd rather not, that's another thing, you'd rather not mix like, oh, yeah, it's my coworker from, you know, he's he was in town, so they, we have this birthday going on. No, you're like, no, I'm not mixing. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I'm not going to ruin this. Because the vibe just goes out the window. And, and out the window, you got the window. Yeah, you know, that's another thing. You know when to work and be professional that you are and when to relax and enjoy, be present, to be present. They're surprised because they thought so far, this surprises them because they thought so far that you were all like, very professional and that was that was that which they liked very much but wait not this this one but this just it was like wow like they feel so attracted to you child you see I told you you were good with kids Beginnings, innocent, brand new, creative, spontaneous, carefree. Yeah, you have a wild side to you, Paul, too. You have a let your hair loose, you know, chill, relax, put on jeans, you know, barefoot, you know, t-shirt, uh, just eating popcorn, enjoying with your family, enjoying with your closest friends, people that you consider family, that you have that other side of you. That not everybody gets, has the privilege to see. You will not show that. This is very, you protect it with like, rrr. like nobody gets close to, to my people. Yeah, you're very, and I feel that that's the, the Ten of Wands here. That there's some areas that you will never drop, even though it's a lot on your plate, but Okay, I'll make myself time to go to that dinner. I'll make myself time to go to that event. I make myself time because this is important too, as well. Now this person gets it. Last one. What tells them that you are the one? Embodiment. You're so the full package pal too. You're the embodiment of the one. That's what this person is saying. You're... They wouldn't add or subtract any, anything from you. You're the embodiment of the one for them. You're well-rounded. You're balanced. You're... The Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. And the Six of Wands. Knowing when to shine, knowing when to be in the spotlight, 
and knowing when to recover, knowing when to rest, knowing when to heal bad moments. There's a time for everything. There's a moment in time for everything. It's not just all mixed up. You don't mix stuff up. You like your things in order, but you take your time to do them. You don't skip them. You don't skip phases. Uh, greed. And innocence. Greed and innocence. You know what I'm getting from greed and innocence in this four of swords? It's like I don't want to I don't want I don't want p people to pity me cuz the four of swords comes after the three of swords, something like heart heartbreak, something that hurts you or when you're super super tired, it's been super difficult, super draining. You don't want the because people can get like comfortable like oh they're pampering me oh they're um yeah you fight that part of wanting more of this oh yeah listen to my sob my sad sob story and and all the time taking up all the time for yourself you wouldn't got the bastion yeah you fortify a lot of your your problems you keep them to yourself secret the secret you keep a lot of stuff to yourself you share but you don't over overly share um there's a balance there there's a balance because you don't go the greed is 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 wanting it all right uh, you don't want all the attention of, oh, poor me. No, you don't want all the attention. So you, you make, you put a stop to it. Okay, enough. Enough, enough rest, enough licking my wounds, en enough. <laughs> enough. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Let's go. You're a fighter. You're a warrior is what I'm getting. The ward. You're protecting what you what you've earned, what you've earned with your blood, sweat, and tears. Look, path. Path in the ward. Yeah, there's a you know you know that mm, the way you've done things so far in life till this point, you feel that you've done a really good job and it works for you. It works for you. That's what you feel. I've been successful, I feel accomplished. This person sees you as successful, sees you that you have a plan, sees, well, you're the visionary here as well as I was saying at the beginning, but there, there's, there are rules that you abide by, your own rules that you abide by, and you're very strict about them. So you, you give yourself permission to rest and to recover, but there's a limit to that. Then we have to get back up on our horse and guard our position. And it's the word with a path because like you, this is your path. You've forged this path. That's why you protect this. This is a way of living, a way of living of yours that you've made it happen. You've kept all the balls up in the air with that Ten of Wands. You've kept things working and things work. So they know that you're the one because despite the pros and the cons, you like, you know, 
Look at this, the sun. Yes, energy, power, climax, fulfilled, pride, radiant, success, vigor, divine masculine, daytime, victory, happy, warm. Yeah, you get shit done. And it's a yes. Yes, this is the person. They embody everything. They have they have it all. They they are responsible, they're sexy, they're smart, they're not an open book. They they know how to put people in their place. They have this charisma, this 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 other warm side to them. They they know when to, you know, when to cry and when to to smile it's, it's like <sighs> they're times for everything and you're the full picture for them i want to know what connects you to what what is like the in one card what would be the link between you two the nine of wands yeah determined the wounded warrior, determined. Determination is the word, determination. Standing strong, not giving up. Resilience. You both are resilient. You both have had your fair share of shit. And you've, you're still there, and you're not only still there, you're doing amazing. <laughs> you're doing amazing. I feel that this uh, future spouse of yours Yes, they do protect their heart, but they show it. And they they show it with actions. They they want to test the waters and they're not going to just dive in blindly. They want to test the waters, but they they also read between the lines. They also read read signs, read body language, read what the unsaid they 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 pick it up they intuitively pick up signs i want to see final messages for you guys some of these cards and clarified with another deck too many for pile number two black cat Brewing com company. Save water, drink beer after work. You work your ass off. Once you get home, you really do want to chill. And they will love that about you. It's not, you know, those people that take problems from work or from the day and they, they don't know when to relax. They're just always on the go and always wired. No, you're like, you know what? This is my time. And they lived happily ever after next year. That's one of your visions, pile two. A happily ever after. And you'll have it with the Ten of Cups there. Too many, so. I like to have fun. Uh, I found the key to happiness. Stay away from idiots. <laughs> Time is now. Well, the Queen of Swords knows from whom to steer clear away from. That's, uh, that's a no-brainer for you. You can sense it. And you've, you've had your fair share. You got the sage there. Like, you've had to cleanse your energy. Cleanse, you know. Okay, let's reboot here. Uh, and calibrate. Because, yeah, they, this ain't happening again. Okay, under this black cat. Save water, drink beer after work. You got persistence with the snail. Okay, you're still going. With that nine of wands, you're still going. But you know why you can still go and keep at it? It's because you give yourself those times of relax, of chill, of, okay, you know what? What's the point of worrying right now when I can't do shit from here? So 
I am going to relax, I'm going to enjoy, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z, and have some me time. Under this, and they lived happily ever after, next year, you got energetic movement with a snake. You have changed. You've seen your, yes, I was saying that before, that you had your fair share of shit. And I feel that you have changed your priorities, what you're looking for in a person. Maybe before it was something, I don't know, looks. And now it's more uh, along the lines of, not not saying that looks are not important, but more more along the lines of like, okay, what what is in there? What is in here? And what is in here? That's more important to you. Under this, I found the key to happiness. Stay away from idiots. Time is now. You've got connection with the heart. What do you love? Pile two. Connection with you, like, what do I love? Knowing exactly what you love, well, like no, no influence, ex external influences, no, n n none of that. Just you with you. What do I want? What do I love? What do I look for? What do I want first of all within me and then someday with a partner? What would I look for? And to stay away from idiots, like I'm, I'm, I'm done with this stupidity I can't I can't take it anymore so now what are my priorities you're rewriting rewriting you'll love this night of cups they're genuine they're honest they're the real deal and what you would hate in a person would be a clingy partner at all oh if anything they'll keep you they'll get you to wonder but they'll have clear messages they'll be crystal clear that they respect you and then they there's something there's water flowing under the bridge okay yes that's all I have for you pile number two take care I'll see you soon Hey, pile number three. So today we're going to see chapter number eight of season two of our Future Spouses series. And today it's a requested video by one of you. And it's all about what they like or love about you. And uh, first of all, I wanted to see their energy and your energy in just one card, one card of tarot. Uh, something that they want to highlight about you guys as well as some questions that I'm gonna ask and I already pulled the cards off camera to save you the boredom of me shuffling. So here we are, this is the crystal that you chose. It's the Ocean Jasper. It's very pretty. I'll leave it here. So for them, first card. The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. For you, the Six of Pentacles. I love this. Oh, you're such a gentle soul, Pile 3. I don't know why I'm starting with you, but I feel very called to you. You're strong. You're fair. You're a fair, fair person. Very fair. Okay. Them. <laughs> They're daring. 
This person is, uh, they're daring. They will fight. They will fight to be with you. They will, they will do anything, 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 anything to get your attention, to conquer you. The Herald. Yeah. It's like the, the premonition, the announcement. This person, <laughs> you know what? They, they will not, they don't go unnoticed. This person is uh, someone that speaks their mind and someone that uh, people feel drawn to, this person. Feel them uh, kind of like charismatic, like with a good sense of humor. We got power. Yeah, they know how to work with a crowd. They know how to work with people. They know how to work. Even though they're a knight, they're not a king. They're very action-oriented. They know how to... And it's not manipulate, like when I say work with. No, it's to... Okay, I adapt. I know when. Now is not the time. They learn quickly. They're a fast learner. But as I say, like if, when they get something in their mind that they want to obtain, oh my God, there's nobody that can stop this person. Nobody. And they can feel, that even though they're represented by swords, they feel their way through situations. I feel that this person has emotional intelligence. Because for them to be your future spouse, they have to have emotional intelligence because you have a shitload of that. Even though you're represented by pentacles here, I feel that you are emotionally intelligent because you have seen the short end of the stick, but you've recovered from that. And you're not out for a vengeance. You're out just to make things right. To Like you took it upon you to show the world how it's supposed to be done. I heard that. Show the world how it's supposed to be done. And connections with, with people. Loyal, you're so loyal. But you've learned, you've learned, pile three, to be loyal, first of all, with you. You owe it to yourself first, then the rest. You respect yourself. This person loves how you respect yourself. I usually never get this from a Six of Pentacles. But this card is just... Too many cards. You respect yourself and this person respects the living shit out of you. And they love you for that, for respecting yourself. Oh my God, the sun. You see, pile three, I love you. I don't know who you are, but I love you. I can see your soul here. I swear, if I'm, I'm hugging you. Like, I, if I could hug you, I will. I, I would right now. Like now, like hug. You're just the sweetest thing. The resolute. You. I'm getting emotions and I'm trying to express the emotions that I'm getting. It's feeling 
you feel proud of yourself. You feel proud of how strong you are, how at peace you are, you know, you feel at peace. And you either, there's a, a, um, an energy of conviction that you have done the right thing thus now. You have done the right thing and you want to keep doing the right thing. There's like, there's a new set of rules that you put on yourself. Like from now on, this. You're proud of, of your past. You're proud. You're proud of your. You're proud of your past in, in the sense of the lessons that the, those, the past gave you. I feel that you really had a, 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 a hard past. At least in regards to relationships. You were given the short end of the stick charity kind of shit but you're determined now to not go out for a, to, to for vengeance but to make sure that that never happens again because you owe it to yourself and you love yourself and he, I, I feel like like you just glow Pile three, you glow. Uh, people can see you from miles away, miles away. Yeah, you're proud of yourself, the resolute. You feel very proud. The herald, this person can perceive you from like literally miles away and they they set their eye on you they're like that is the person that is the person you just bring so much joy oh, i freaking love i don't know why i'm shuffling this okay let's go with the questions i got immersed in your energy from the beginning huh um how do they perceive you okay the two of swords You don't jump right away. Like they say jumping, you say how high, you're like, fuck no. Okay, justice. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to take my time. They see you as you're going to take your time to see things through. Because while I can't see, because I don't have much evidence to, to work with here, I'm going to take my time. See how much you weigh. The Ace of Swords. You, clarity. They perceive you, first of all, as to, they're not sure because you're not sure. So they perceive you kind of like, okay, hold, hold your horses right there. You, you come in so, you know, fast and, and with, 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 a, with a mission. Okay, just leave your horse over there and uh, yeah, I need to know more of the story here. Clarity. They see how, when I was saying loyal, you're loyal to yourself. You're so well balanced. You're, you, internally speaking, are so well balanced and you're a fair person, as I was saying before. And we got justice here. That's the major arcana. That's the major arcana. Like things, you're so well balanced. And it's clear as day how 
you don't fall for the the lights and the circus and the you don't fall for that no I need it. and it's not that you're not a happy person you're radiant you're the Sun pile three it's just that I am not going to be mesmerized by your horse and your sword and your your power and your determination. I'm not going to let myself be swayed by all of that. I mean, show me more substance than that. We got the navigator. Yes, I'm going to navigate myself. They see you navigating these waters with ease of... I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I'm not going to jump the gun with you. I'm going to take my time to see things clearly. A navigator and justice. As we navigate, we'll see. Since this person is very like, like, they, they kind of, work well with crowds and everything like people follow them they have that attractiveness to them and all the fact that you are not swayed is like oh like what's going on here but not only that not because you're not sweet it's because you're glowing so bright and the fact that you're not swayed by them and it's not because you don't see what everybody else sees but you want to see more Everybody else is content and they, they're like conformists kind of thing. Like they conform with just what the outside. You want to see the inside. You want the clarity. The Ace of Swords. They perceive that you're looking for that. The, what, what's the real thing underneath? What came out? The prisoner and the illusionist. Yeah, I'm not going to be a prisoner again of creating fantasies in my brain. I want clarity. I want the truth. I want the real damn truth here. I want the truth. No more smokes and mirrors with me. They see it. That's the first thing that they perceive from you. Your sharpness. Your level-headed, calm, cool, collected, but bright as the sun, just in peace. It's a sense of like empowerment, but in peace. This person is empowered, but like all over the place. Like it's a nice counterpart. I mean, once you get to know them, that they really do have good intentions. Look at that, the letter. This is how they perceive you. Writing, communication, fax, email, notes, records, news, making contact. Yeah, they perceive that the contact, the first communication here is kind of not as they expected it to be. They're more used to of things being faster, with a faster movement than this. So they're kind of like thrown off by... Did my charm not? <laughs> this this person is not a superficial ass. I'm not saying that. No, but you know those people that they okay. I know I have this. I have this, and this kind of stuff happens when I go out, and you know. But they're to like, wow, who's that person? Referring to you, Paul three, and the fact that this they don't they they're like not in line <laughs> they're not in line I don't know if this person is some sort of public figure it feels kind of like a public figure I was gonna get okay so what do they find amazing about you got horned cactus with resourcefulness First of all, you're protecting yourself and yes, you're like, yeah, 
not anyone but he just gets to 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 get close to you you <laughs> but it's not that he, that you're guarded and paranoid it's not that it's it's uh you can handle yourself on your own. You don't need other people to handle stuff for you. But you're also going to be aware of, you know, my, my, the boundaries here, okay? And people will see them from far away, like, yeah, I'm not messing with pile three. We got the seven of pentacles. So this is what they find amazing about you. The resourcefulness. And the Three of Wands. The patience that you have, sweetie, is out of this world. The patience. They find amazing how patient you are for stuff that you want to achieve. Patient and not jumpy, like getting ahead of yourself and... Yeah, I don't know. Imagine this person is famous, famous, famous. And you encounter them. A small group of people. You're like... And it's not that you don't know them or you're plain stupid. You're just not swayed by it. I'd rather know the person inside. Not the one signing autographs. So, you know, you so know your worth, Pile 3. You so know your worth. So, you got the Seven of Pentacles, the patience of waiting for the right moment, for this to, to evolve naturally, not force the crop to, to, to give fruit. No. I'm going to wait for the... In the meantime, I got my own shit going on. I'm resourceful. I don't need anybody. I could, I'm could. i doing fine, dandy, on my own. And the Three of Wands is, the ships will come to me. I don't need to go to the ships. The ships will come. Good things come to those who wait. Good things come to those who wait. And, and it's not either that you're waiting there like, when is this person going to come up to talk to me? No, you're doing your thing. You're, you're, you're on your own vibration. This is your own vibe. And I'm not saying that this person is in a lower vibration or in a higher vibration. They're just in a... It's a different energy in regards to the rhythm of it, the tempo. It's very accelerated. You're more in at peace, enjoying life at peace. This person is more like against the clock kind of thing. Love. You will not push love. You will not force love. You will not force your heart to commit before the time is right. This is the same analogy of the cake. You put the cake, you, you, you do the whole thing of the cake, okay? You've got the ingredients, you put them together, you mix them in a the bowl, you're all the ingredients, then you have to put them in the oven for it to bake. If you don't allow the amount of minutes that it's required for that cake to bake and you bring it out beforehand, it's going to taste like shit. So don't do that. And you know that you don't have to do that because you've done it before and it's tasted like shit. And you're like, I'm not doing all of that effort for it to taste like shit? No. No. And now I own, I have my own, I'm resolute. I have my own set of rules. I know that this works for me. If they don't like it, so be it. But this is my own set of rules. And this is how it's going to be. The champion. You know you're going to be the winner at the end of the day. You know it. Because you know what? You see the sun. How shiny you are. 
how amazing you are, how strong you are, how confident you are, how convi convinced, con there's a sense of conviction within you that you're doing the right thing, that you're doing it right. There's only one way how to do it. For you, it's like, there's only one way how to do it. Either it's right or wrong. I'm not doing it wrong. I'm doing it right. And for me, for me, in my brain, in my sixth sense, I need to know that I'm doing it this way for me to know that I'm doing it right. Therefore, there's no other way to do it. Not rushing the cake. And they are amazed by your patience, your composure, Shooting star. Quick action. Wish granted. Rare. You are rare. Of course you're rare. Falling. Moment in time. Luck. Dynamic. I feel so lucky. You're so rare. Because most people just fall. I feel, I don't know, I'm getting most people fall at this person's knees. I don't know. If they're famous or they're just so charismatic and good looking, I don't know. They find you brilliant, passionate. And they're also like dazzled, like like stunned, kind of like, oh my God, if I don't do something now. Like they have to put themselves in line to get your autograph almost at that point. Let's see. Uh, what you surprise them with. Leadership. You follow me. I don't follow you. You follow me. At this pace, not your pace. That's what I'm getting. This is the pace, the tone. You set the, you set the tone, the pace, the pace. Tone pace. How to move forward. Strength. You're so strong, I was saying from the beginning. Yes, you command respect, sweetie. Oh, pile three, I love you. Well, and I'm so proud of you. You command respect. You've been through, oh my God, look at that image. You've been like arrows sticking out of you, you know, like you've been through the war and back. So you command respect. You're like, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not an idiot. But you're not... You don't shove this information in people's faces unless you're pressured. If you're pressured, oh my God. I mean, everybody's going to wish they were not born. But your, your aura commands respect. how you carry yourself. You got the two of swords again. You're, you, you don't get convinced right away. For you to open up, emotionally speaking, it takes, it, it takes time for people to, to get to to that heart of yours. And those who are part of that heart of yours, you are loyal and you will fight for them, you know, to the end of the world. But those that are getting to know you, you're like, I'm not sure, therefore I have to stay strong in this position of, I need to, to keep observing. I need to keep observing.
judgment. You, you want to make a judgment, the judgment call. You want your own judgment. You want to be okay with your, your, your call. You want to be okay with what you decided. You want to be at peace with it. You don't want be you don't want people to decide for you. Of course not. Not with you. No, not with you. Abandonment with the strength. Yeah, you know how it's been. Honey, you've been through oh. You've been through so much. You get to me here. And the door of dream. So, oh God. Why pile three? Why do you do this to me? You know that that uh, the person of your dreams is out there. You know you know that they are, but if they if that person of your dreams is out there, they will know to be patient. They will know to give you time to get to know them. They will know not to put pressure. They will know to respect you. They will know to treat you as. You deserve to be treated. Oh my God. You deserve to be treated like the sun. Is. You surprise them with your determination, your faith, your strength. Knowing both sides of the coin, how it is to be the bottom and how it is to be at the top, strong again, or stronger than ever before. Got train. If you can see it, train. Oh, I can't see. It says, moving on. Life's journey, new endeavor, going away, one direction, one track, focus, on time, keep going forward, your determination. Inflexible. With that resolute, nobody's changing my mind. And it's not like you're imposing. It's just like, give time for us to get to know each other. I don't I'm I'm not jumping in blindly. I you got two two of swords here. If you're not sure, you need time. This person will give you that time. No resistance. They won't they will they will give you time and they will show you You need that time? I'll give you that time. In the meantime, let's get to know each other. But the heart stays put until I am sure. What tells them that you are the one? What was I saying? Loyalty. You're such a loyal person. You're represented here by a white wolf. The white wolf, you have your pack, but you can perfectly be on your own and survive like nothing. What tells them that you are the one, your loyalty? You know what it is? It's your loyalty to yourself, 
to this resolution that you came up with. You did not cave into their their magic tricks or their beauty or their handsomeness or their or their charm or their fame or that you did not cave. You did not cave. You were loyal to yourself. And that's when they knew that you were the one. When I said that you were loyal to you first, you owe it to you first and then the rest. That's why you shine so bright, because you've invested so much love into yourself where you knew it was safe to invest. Temperance. This is healing. This is balance. This is patience. This is alchemy. You're not a bitter person, pile three. You don't hold grudges. You've learned your lesson. They are not ghosts here following you. You are an amazing, an amazing person. You're so well balanced. The Nine of Wands, the resilience, the Nine of Wands, the resilience, you're still going. You're not bitter, you're still going. And stronger than ever. Are these upside down? No, they're not. Stronger than ever. Stronger than ever. Immortal. Immortal. Immortal with temperance. It's uh, like this will be ingrained in this person's mind for the rest of their lives and beyond this 3D life as well. Like as a soul, what they, this, this of you is, is, is an upgrade for them is an upgrade for them to see this strength in you, this determination, this resilience in you, immortal. And they also know that this loyalty of yours, of your respect for yourself, will never fade, not even a tiny little bit, will never fade. It will always be the same that respect that you have for yourself. And they admire, they love that. That's when they know that you're the one because you respect yourself. You love yourself, you care for yourself. That's, a, that's one of the things that most people don't see, like I want my partner to love themselves, to care for themselves, to be loyal to themselves, to their principles and, and yeah. Not because, oh, we were just having fun and so I slipped, no. No, there's a loyalty towards themselves. I don't have to be there. Nobody has to be there to be the teacher, or the, the parent, no. You're an upgrade to this person. 
and and thought like how how they see people the flame this meat reminds me like of the king of wands do you see that there's a there's a like a moon there an orb but the flame the torch you you <laughs> You're still holding that torch, that flame, that passion for life. I'm here and I'm stronger and I'm wiser and I'm, I know what I want. I know what I want. I don't need to guess. I know what I want. I know what I'm looking for. I know when something feels right and when something feels off. I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to lower my standards. So resolute, so resolute. Pile three, I love you. I really do. The lighthouse. Yes, of course, you got the sun. Guidance system. You, they know because you, you're all they can see. You're their way home. Detour, safe passage, warning, obstacles, navigation, plot of course of action. Plot of course of action. Use tact and diplomacy. Yeah, they're not going to mess with they would not dare to mess with you. Not that they want to. But they know that there is a course of action. I need to plan a course of action. It's not just come and grab it. Come and get it. No, it's not that. There is a way. This person, I said, they're smart, smart, they're brilliant. They're very, very smart. They, they learn quickly, and they will learn quickly how it is to get to your heart. Learn, they will learn, I don't know if quickly, but they will be determined to learn how to get there, how to earn your trust, how to earn your love, how to earn, how to earn. You have to earn it. It's not for free. I want to see what card, just one card, connects you to the most. Just one, one card. The moon, the unknown, the subconscious. Secrets, the psyche. There's a lone wolf there as well. <laughs> the mystery, the mystery, pile three. They love a mystery to solve. You're a mystery to them. You're a mystery. You're so self-sufficient. You don't need anybody. But if anybody comes in, there's a door, a front door, not a back one. There's a front door. Do it the right way. Final messages for you, pile number three. I love you, pile number three. Oh, I would hug you so much. I'm hugging you right now, okay? I'm going to get a clarifier with another deck. So, drum first, think later, next time. Yeah, no, no, no um, impulsivity uh, with me. You're like, no, I'm not up for impulsive crap. Stay wild, moon child, for full moon. Stay wild. And you 
You know what that is? Untamed. Nobody can tame you. You have your own set of rules. Nobody can sway you. A lot of moon here. They, these eclipses must be affecting you a lot. Pile three. I know they're affecting me. Whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. On holiday. Yes. Let's see what this... I don't know if this... I'm not very happy with clarifying with this deck. I did it with the other two piles, but let's see. Drum first, think later. Next time. Uh, we got faith. See, I gotta, I gotta get one of these. Strength here. Okay, I feel that um, people might hit on you, like the hit and run kind of thing, like the let's have fun, just let's have fun, and you're like, uh, no, it ain't my thing. And you're standing strong. And having faith as well that, you know what? Okay. Maybe I'm not having fun right now. But I really... Like, you don't want to play that game anymore. You don't want to... You don't... No. You're determined. You're determined now. Yeah, you're determined. Where are the cards? Here. Oh. You know what? I'm going to clarify with these because I don't like those small ones for these. Okay. Stay wild, moon child, full moon. And stay wild like... Uh, untamed. Nobody can tame you. The journey. It's your journey. <laughs> and there's a journey to get to know each other. It's not from one day to another. Oh, okay, we're a couple. No, it's a journey. You want to get to know me? It's a journey. Go, enjoy life. You've been through so much, Paul Free. I swear my dog. I am so sorry. But you've been so through so much. I feel that you want to go enjoy the the world with with this set of tools that you have here, with this confidence, conviction, with this inner glow that is just you're a lighthouse. You shine everywhere. The strength that you have, this inner strength and this resolution of this is the way of doing it. Hmm. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be on holiday. There's a dragonfly there. Okay, this doesn't want to go back in. And it says curiosity. And the sacrifice. Okay, you know what? Um, you're very responsible. And they're saying here to be wise, to say, let it be. There are things that you are sacrificing for others, people that are with you, family, friends, people that you consider friends, that you need to, to know when to say no to because you know that they are loyal people, that they are good people, but that doesn't mean that they have all of your time, all of your schedule, or whenever they want it. There's sometimes that you just want to chill and relax, and you're wondering how that would pan out if you were to say no. Nothing, the, the world's not gonna explode, the world's not gonna stop, these people are not gonna stop loving you or caring for you, they're gonna understand. 
Because also you have such a good way of explaining yourself and, and getting across your point of view, but with love and with fairness. So you're curious to, to feel, to see like, how would it be to tell them, you know what, I need a break. I need some time for me. I need some time off. That's another thing. Maybe you need some time off. Maybe you need some break. Maybe you need some vacation or something. Maybe with this drum first and think later, uh, it's also a, a kind of thing that, you know what, I need a place where I don't need to be on guard just to relax, to put my feet up and relax. Because it's, it's, it's uh, tiring to be strong all the time. Because it, there's work behind this. There is work. But uh, I feel that you're going to have an opportunity of a journey. Look at this, of a journey for a holiday where you can relax and just be you and not sacrifice. Just enjoy what it is to feel like a kid again and unpredictable with that dragonfly. Dragonflies fly like up, down, left, right. They're unpredictable. Just to live unpredictably but with no consequences in the sense of you being hurt. Like a relaxed place, an environment, vacation, trip with probably people that you trust completely. But just to relax, to enjoy, to like, okay, time to recharge. Ah, the pile three, what can I say? Well, I've said it all, but... That's all I have for you. I love you. You're amazing. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.